Today we're in Tombstone, Arizona, bikepacking the Tombstone Hustle. So today I'm with my two buddies who joined me on the Colorado Trail, Cody and James. We're in downtown Tombstone and we're gonna get started on this 72 mile overnighter. Oh boy, we did not expect snow. We knew it'd be chilly, but not snow chilly. I love bikepacking in plus tires. It just, I don't know why. I just like it. I think it carries the weight well. All right, I hate riding on the road. Let's try not to die. Go ahead, boys. You been hit by a car, Cody? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every roadie I know who's been road riding for more than a year has been hit by a car. Yeah, I wonder what these used to be used for. I think it's a Coke machine. Probably. Come on, 30 miles an hour, we can do it. Red top. Oh, 31.4. Woohoo! A lot of road on this route so far. Oh boy, it's hailing now. Pelting me. Whew. Cody's always been my good luck charm for weather, but I figured we have to pay the piper at some point. Yep. We've had perfect weather on every trip, and yep. at least it's frozen and not wet. Yeah. It'll be an adventure one way or another. Cody's single speeding it again. His only hardtail is set up single speed, so when we bike pack, he single speeds. Cody is a former cross country pro racer in the single speed class. He would ride the 24 hour races all by himself. And he's won before, it's pretty crazy. So in other words, he's not human. Don't try what he's trying. Can't feel the wind right now because it's a tailwind and the snow's falling with us. It's starting to get sweaty. I don't want to get too clammy. I need to start venting some heat. I did not expect this. But we were prepared enough to handle it. I wish there was more dirt. This is a lot of pavement. Yeah. You know, even though the weather's not great, it is so nice to be outside. All right, 18.2 miles in and we are finally getting off pavement. Yay, we're on dirt. On this trip, I'm testing out Topeak's rack and bag system, and I really like it. However, this has shifted and the tire's rubbing it. So I need to slide it back some. I think that's gonna require a tool. Let's slide it off. Now I can see what I'm doing. It's my whole rack has slid down an inch or two. Oh yeah, look, you're scraping up there. Okay, now we gotta make sure we did it even and it's not crooked and rubbing. Yeah. I love testing new gear. And this is how we find out how it does in its intended environment. Right. I wish this had bigger Allens. Yeah. This is a little bit of a joke if we're honest. Two and a half yeah. out here. I love having metal bikes for bike packing. If I had a carbon bike, I'd be so worried I'd be crushing this or scratching off all the paint. A lot of people want advice for a bike packing bike. And my advice is to get a beater because they take a beating and you want something that you don't have to worry about scratching or hurting when you do this stuff. All right, everything's tightened down. Nothing's rubbing. Cool, just my brakes are rubbing with gravel in them. Rinse this off. I love how easy it is to take this bag on and off. I cut off the handle because I wanted to be able to put more stuff on it. <laughs> Watch, now that I got it wet, it's all gonna freeze to it and I'll never be able to get it off. <laughs> 
Thanks, boys. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's those feet getting cold. Whew, it's chilly. I need to get that blood pumping again. Yep. Hands and feet. One thing's for certain, if you go bike packing, you need to know bike mechanics, at least the bare minimum. And you need to know how all your gear works. Because if someone took their bike to the shop and the shop set it up, and they had that issue that I just ran into, and they had no clue how the rack works, they'd be stuck out here. So there's really a lot of value in having some basic mechanical and troubleshooting skills and the tools and know how to fix it. Cool, we're on the ghost town trail. Found an old ruin out here. It's a little place up here. Yeah. Pretty crazy to think of people building their own houses back then just out of the rocks and cement they found around. I wonder if this was a house or like a town hall. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to do some research. Pretty cool. Oh, starting to dry out now that it's not wet. I was starting to question our sanity back there. I love single track routes, but something I love about wide gravel roads is that we can all chat together and hang out and visit more. That's really fun. What a cool area out here. Huh? It is so undiscovered by me. I've never been out yeah. past Tombstone. We got a storm blowing in behind us. We're trying to stay ahead of it. There's no required list of gear to go bike packing. The most important thing is that you just get out and ride. That said, these chuck buckets from Oveja Negra are one of my all time favorite pieces of gear. They hold my water bottles, you can put snacks in them. You don't have to put water bottles there, but it's just such a convenient location to get my bottle out and drink it. All right, back to the pavement. We'll be on the highway for a few miles to the bar for lunch. Welcome to the historic Pierce Jail. Let's check it out. Oh, cool. We gotta write something for the journal. Oh, they got a window. <laughs> that would be so depressing. We got any windows over here? Yeah. I mean, I guess you don't want them escaping, but dang, that would be dark and depressing. Yeah. It would be pretty. I'll bet that was very hot and very cold. Yes. What a cool old town. Oh, wow, that mine looks cool from back here. So it's warming up. We hit 46 degrees back there. <laughs> In the desert. Oh my gosh. It's always an adventure with the guys. Right? Yeah. That's right. Watch out for that rush hour traffic. Yeah, my knees are a little bit hurting. The guys at the bar are going to see us and just be like, what is wrong with you? We've had a few really nice motorists who've stopped and said, you guys okay? Do you need a ride somewhere? Be careful. Really nice people out here. I love small towns. Thank you. Oh, cool. Look at that post office. love these old towns. It's cool they've kept it up. Oh yeah. Bike parking. I think they mean motorcycle, but I'll take it. TJ's Bar and Grill. It might not be open. No. It says open on the sign. Yeah. All right. 
you guys are insane. <laughs> yes, we were insane. You don't need to convince us of that. Yeah. We're learning that the hard way. Yeah, coming through yeah, that. I think we're gonna get some snow in a minute. Oh, <laughs> oh we've, been, we we've done that for the last from... 30 miles. <laughs> yeah. All right, lunchtime. We're gonna go into the stronghold tonight and then back, oh, are... then back to Tucson <laughs> or Tucson tomorrow. <laughs> we just might yep. never leave. Yep. <laughs> I dressed right today. I had this thin little smart wool beanie under my helmet, which was great. I've got a down vest on and my sunshade hoodie on my base layer. And then this outdoor research super lightweight rain jacket. So my core was warm. I had to open the pit zips halfway through, but I stayed dry. I wished I'd brought another pair of socks and a second pair of gloves because my gloves are pretty cold. Tell us about the route so far. 20 miles of snow <laughs> and lots of fun. What's was your favorite part so far? Uh, I don't know. Probably just getting on that dirt road and getting pushed along all day. That was pretty nice. Steve, I was planning on 80 degree blue skies, warmth, and I got sleet and snow for the last 30 miles. Hey, it hit 45. Oh, that's true, it did hit 45. <laughs> no, it's been good. It's uh, It's been a challenge. I mean, you never know what you're gonna get with these type of, you know, backpacking routes, bikepacking routes that we do, and uh, you just kinda gotta be prepared. So luckily we brought some cold weather gear. Thank but I don't you. have pictures. There we go. <laughs> I really go, I had like six of them. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a little tough. But we're making it, and uh, I think what, we got like another 10 miles to go, something like that, until we get into the stronghold, and then we can camp. I'm gonna be probably snuggling in with Steve because uh, I brought an ultra, ultra light sleeping bag, and uh, it's gonna be super cold tonight. So, Steve. Well, I don't have a tent, so that sounds good to me. I'll come into your tent, and we'll stay warm together. I brought a ground cloth. <laughs> It's Arizona. I've, I brought my really warm 15 degree bag. I'm going to be warm as long as it's not windy or rainy or snowy. And it's probably going to be all of the above. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, this is looking good. It's nice having a warm meal on a trip. I don't usually plan uh, food stops like this. I like to be more remote, but man, this is perfect for today. That was a challenging section just because of the weather. The actual riding was really easy and it went super fast, but being in the wind and snow added a huge element of challenge and adventure to it. We got to get into camp before dark. Easy. All right, we got our water filled up. Ready to go. Cody's offered to carry it. Thank you, Cody. He needs a little more challenge. All right. Back on the road again. Oh man, whether you guys are into bike packing or not, I recommend going out on an adventure, exploring the unknown, checking out a new town, whether that's on your car, on foot, on bike, whatever. Get out there and see what's in your backyard. Into the headwind. Oh, that's beautiful. Heading toward Cochise Stronghold in the Dragoons. Oh yeah. <laughs> Single speed, one-handed wheelie loaded. There's our campsite on that ridge line. I'm excited to get up in there. Man, look at that view, just 360. Beautiful. Such a beautiful day. We've got blue skies ahead. Kochi Stronghold, the Dragoons are looking awesome. We're totally dry. It's still chilly and windy, but we're not wet and that makes a huge difference. What a beautiful day it's turning into be. Wow, so special. All this road and gravel to get here for this. It's about to get good. Wonder what's going on over there. Oh, it could be. Hello. Yikes, looks like there was a fire in here. Oh. 
little sandy. We got it with the plus tires. This is tricky, this is fun. I do think a 65 degree head angle bike is a little too slack for bike packing for ideal. Yeah, Cody. Somehow I was able to nose pivot through there. Oh boy. How on earth did you ride that, Cody? Right nice job. This is exciting. Now I feel like I'm on an adventure. <laughs> this is such a cool little trail most people won't like it Cody and I love stuff like this there's a yurt down there that'd be super fun to stay in I'm not going to do it yeah, next time we'll all reserve the yurt and ride to the yurt. Yeah. This is really fun. I love a bike packing trail where I can use my dropper. Or I need to use my dropper. This is that was fun. Let's press on. We're almost done with the horse trail. All right, we're off the horse trail, back onto the regular trail. See if we can ride this without hike a bike. Doubtful, but I like the challenge. Nice, Cody. I clean. Go, Cody. You got it. Holy moly, he just cleaned that section. Good job, Cody. Yeah, baby. First try. Woo! I felt good. This is so fun. We are having such a blast sessioning these rocky technical chunky sections Woo, that was a bumpy ride so yeah. fun it's good it's absolutely beautiful up here i'm excited to be back on the single track you got it james you got it yeah yep 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 <laughs> if you'd hopped up that that would have been crazy <laughs> Got it. <sighs> Cody sees a bonus line. I think it's gonna be V line. All right, here are the options. Up and over this. 
that'd be no problem if we weren't on a loaded bike. No problem for Cody. This is a massive move right here. Boom. Cody's on a 32.19 for those curious. How he's hopping with bags is beyond me. You got it, trials. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you like seeing people session while they're bike packing. <laughs> We're a special breed of stupid. Actually, we just like having fun no matter what. Oh yeah. Ooh, that was a nice wedge with the front wheel. You got it. Dang, Cody, that was beautiful. That's it, there you go, that's it. You got this, Steve, go. There it is, go. nice. Go. Hang on. This is it. Oh yeah, beautiful, 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 ah oh, ha ha. Nice. Look at that control. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, I said one more, that was one more. Alright, nice work. Nice, stay here all night. Oh, nice. Nice time. That was yep. fun though. Oh, enjoyed that. Nice work, Cody. That was Thank you. incredible. No problem. Beautiful. Yeah, baby, that was great. Oh, that was a fun little challenge back there. Yep, there's some hike a bike on this, even if you're Cody. That was a good line. All right, getting up there. Heck no. That's ridiculous. Got it. Thank you. How'd you do that? <laughs> so beautiful. It's like high elevation dells yeah. with camping in it. Actually, not even that much higher than Prescott, though. That's true. It's like a bigger dells yeah. that you can camp in. Sweet, we made it to the dam. Oh, look at this camp spot. Yes, sir. Beautiful. And sheltered and protected. Just what we need tonight. What a day, huh? That was an adventure. It was an adventure. Really fun. Oh man, that was such a good day. What a day. What a beautiful campsite we found. This is going to be perfect. 
because I didn't bring a tent. <laughs> it's going to be real nice to be in a sheltered little alcove like this. I think it's going to be windy all night. It might sprinkle a little bit, but I'm not too worried. And we got to camp before dark. That never happens. So yeah, like I if you were in charge of this leader, operation, who would you make team leader? To, I don't know. Where's it? I'm I'm a supervisor. <laughs> all right. If you get that end into the top middle pole, this is the way all of our trips go. <laughs> yeah. There's that, and we're going up. There oh man, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Maybe we should have uh, kept it steak. I don't know. We're getting there. All right. <laughs> All right. Ow. Man. No, it popped out, dude. No, this one's still in. Are you sure? This side's in. <laughs> I got it in. <laughs> James, yeah. got yourself a tent. All right. Thanks, dude. Good morning, we survived the night. That was beautiful. Woke up with the sun peeking above these mountains. I stayed warm, surprisingly, in my little bivy. No tent. <sighs> it's nice to have the sun and not snow and clouds. It's gonna be windy today, but um, really beautiful. How'd you sleep? Great, like a baby. I tossed and turned about 2,000 times, but I got some sleep. How about you, James? Was I keeping you up? No, it's quiet. I passed out at 7.30 and uh, I don't think I woke up until whatever time it is now, like awesome. eight or nine. Yeah, it was nice. I have a hard time turning my brain off and not thinking every oh. snapping twig is a bear or something. It's been really fun to experiment with the toe peak panniers. I actually <laughs> really like them. We haven't done a whole bunch of chunky downhill. We'll see how they hold up over time. But I love the organization. This little panel moves. I've got flashlight, two bolitos, water bottle in there. And this, I just have my tent ground cloth. I could pack it so much tighter, but I can put like really light, bulky items in there, like a sleeping bag or something. And it doesn't upset the weight balance. We've got a little pocket in here. Just way more organized than a seat bag for me. And so far, I don't think I've scraped these on anything other than like when I lean it over. It's been cool to try. I'm a big fan of having a rack on the back of your bike because I'm so short, I can't use my dropper with a seat bag. And even if I leave the dropper up, it still buzzes the tire. So I'm always opting for a rack on my bikes. And this has been cool. I've been wondering about panniers and if I like them or not. So far, I'm a huge fan. All right, it's warming up nicely. What do you think, mid 40s? At least. Nice. We're all packed up. Camp is clean. This was such a great sheltered camp and it came in at the perfect time right before sunset, right before the wind and it got super cold. <sighs> now we get to have fun. We've got a half a mile of climbing today and then 25 miles of rolling downhill. Some uphills, but generally we're going to lose, what, a thousand feet you think? Probably. Maybe 1500? 1500. Something like that. It should be a really great day. Go have a party in the mountains. Woo! A little stiff. Take me a minute to get warmed up. Wow. Need to think we were way down there in the valley. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Cool how they've got this greenish hue from the moss on them. Yeah. That's something the Dells doesn't have. Not at all. Stronghold Divide, we made it to the top. Three miles from the campground. Woo. Did we make it to the top? Yeah, baby. Oh, there it is. That's loose. Woo! 
Oh man. Manzanita grabbing my arms. <laughs> oh, this is good. Surprise. Boy, my balance is so different with bags on. Wow, look at that. I'm not even looking up. Right? That's that is beautiful. Look at the trail down there. Oh, we're going to drop some. I see about 40 switchbacks ahead. That's tight. <laughs> yeah, Cody. So hard to hide those things. I did not have to climb that. I yeah, that would have been a tough climb. Yeah. Steve's up here airing down. Yeah, I'm sliding everywhere. Okay. What a challenge. Uh, not everyone's going to find this fun, I'll say that though. Look at this little canyon we're going into. So cool in here. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. This stuff's always more fun with friends for me. I have good friends. This is awesome. So fun. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought I could see it. Woo! Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, there you go. I guess there might have been. All right, it's bear country. That was a good, fun section of sea. That was awesome. It was fun. Super just fun. It was so loose. And flowy. You're yeah. like in the creek bed. It was naturally bermy and yeah. yeah. I mean, even those tight switchbacks is just kind of perfect grade. Yeah. The switchbacks with the loaded bikes, you, your bike definitely wants to push and they're top heavy. We yeah. don't have all our weight at the bottom. So yeah. Sometimes your front wheel will actually skid for a couple inches before you regain yeah. control. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was a good time. All right, let's, let's press on. Let's go. Sweet, we found some more single track.
I got weight on my side. I'm having a great time. My knee, both of my knees, but especially my left knee, is just killing me. It's flaring up like crazy. It almost feels like bone on bone rubbing. I think I need to go see a PT and probably a bike fitter. If I watch my knee when I'm pedaling in a circle, it kind of has this little jog in it at the top, which cannot be good. I'm gonna have to find a way to fix that because I love these long trips, but my knee's not happy. I am loving the short cranks. I don't think they're causing the knee issues. If anything, I think they're helping my body feel more balanced. It's been fun experimenting. Almost every part on this bike is experimental for this trip and it's been really fun to see what I like and what I don't. doing this route again it's not quite my ideal route but I'm so glad I did it and it was fun to explore this part of my state Historic tombstone. There's the OK Corral, the site of the famous Gunt fight. It's only where you're supposed to take a picture of We made it to Tombstone, back where we started. If you had three words to describe this trip, how would you describe it? I'd say, I'd say fun, adventurous, and pretty. For the desert, cold, wet, and challenging. So for me, it was cold. I was cold the entire time except the last two hours. Unexpected and peaceful. It was a really peaceful route. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do this route again, but I'm glad that I did it. There are far more exciting routes for me in Arizona, but I think this would be a great route for a lot of people. There's a lot of road, way more pavement than I wanted. The hike-a-bike was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. And a lot of gravel road as well. Just very little single track but it was really cool to explore this area. I had a great time riding with these guys. Thanks for joining me. Another great trip, we'll do another one too. Yeah. There's a party in the desert and you're invited.